Hello, in this tutorial we will see one very useful plugin which will be used as a widget. It is called Better RSS Widget and now we will see why we should use this one instead of the widget used in the as a default in the WordPress site. Okay, so let's say we want to put on our widgets here RSS feeds and if we use the RSS from the WordPress dashboard we will see some difference with the better RSS widget. Alright, let's say we want to put this RSS we'll just put it here and we can give the title let's say it's forum discussions we would like to display five items and we can use these options here to display item content to display item outer or to display the item date All right so let's say we want to display item date and click save okay so let's refresh the page And here we can see we have forum discussions. First of all, it is a link to the RSS itself, to the page from the RSS feed. And we have the date and we have the uh, link to the particular page. Okay. If we navigate and do a nofollow checkup, we will see that all these links are do follow. So they will pass link juice to these pages. Okay. Sometimes it is not very good to pass uh, link juice, so that's why we should use the RSS widget, which will give more functionalities and add these new functions. All right, so let's remove this one and let's install better RSS widget. Let's go to plugins add new and search for this plugin in the WordPress directory so let's click on search plugins and here's this widget we will install it And now let's see the difference from the previous RSS widget. We will navigate to the widgets. And let's find out where is the widget. Here it is. So let's copy this link. First we have the option to give this a title, let's say it's going to be forum discussions again and we have the option to disallow linking to this page which is very nice. So we can put the title of RSS and we will leave it blank. Also we have the option to display text above the links, so let's say find out more about web design and SEO and here we can put the RSS feed itself okay so let's put five links we can see that we have the ability to provide 20 links also we can show the item we don't want this done can limit the title the length of the title we won't use this one as well we can display item summary limited to 360 characters we won't use this one but if you want to display item summary you can use this option and we have some additional fields such as author date time and add no follow to links basically 
this is the main reason I like this plugin because it has this ability so I will add no follow to this links I will add date and also we have the option to link target which will be new window and we can display the widget on all the pages alright so also we have the option to enable cache I won't use this one and when we save the plugin now let's see what will happen we will refresh this page and now we don't have this is a link and if we navigate to the nofollow as you can see now it is pink which means that all these links are nofollow which is great for our SEO and excellent for our users alright in my opinion this is the best widget for RSS because uh, it will allow you to interlink your pages and also uh, won't pass link juice to all these pages. Thank you very much for watching this video and you can learn more by going to our website tutorial7.com. Thank you very much.